Hey folks, this is Bill with Nine Drink Vegas. It is July of 2023 and I've just spent a fantastic night here at the Four Seasons in Las Vegas. What I want to do real quick is show you the Four Seasons Pool Complex because this may be one of the best deals on a pool day in Vegas. It's part of the Mandalay Bay Pool Complex and what that means is if you want all the amenities and the high energy vibe of the Mandalay Bay, you're absolutely welcome to do it. You're just showing your room key when you get in. However, if you want a more relaxed pool day or if you're there with a significant other or maybe your kids or something like that, then this offers you a very different vibe. And what I'm gonna do is walk you through it and show you how to get there. I just came in through the door, which was right by the guest room elevators. There are a couple of other ways to get there. For example, you can get there through the fitness center. And there are also two main entrances to it. Um, while I'm walking you to the rest of the space, I would really appreciate your support for the channel. What we try real hard to do here at Dine Drink Vegas is bring people short and focused videos to give them the information they need to plan their next trip to Vegas. If we've done that, if you leave us a comment in the comment section down below, that would really help us because it would help YouTube show our videos to more people. Also, you can like and subscribe. So we're here in a courtyard area, and again, it's July. I think it's gonna be, what, like 112 degrees today? So this isn't set up for any events, but it's just a beautiful, beautiful courtyard area. One of the things I've also noticed is I've been in this pool complex three or four times over the last couple of days. I've always brought my room key. No one has ever asked to see it. So we'll come on over here through the main check-in area, but I don't think I've ever seen anybody there. They're not concerned with the security of the operation. Now, obviously you shouldn't use this if you're not a Four Seasons guest, but I do enjoy the kind of relaxed vibe of it. You can see from here, the main pool area, like I say, it is decidedly smaller than the Mandalay Bay. If you want to go to the Mandalay Bay, that is open and available to you, but it's, um, hey, morning, how are you? That's a smaller thing. So, you've got one seating area up here along with a small cafe. Now, the great thing about being a guest at the Four Seasons is it's the Four Seasons, right? And if you want something from another space, they will go and get it. You can also see some cabanas, which are available for rent. Coming over here, there's a hot tub area. And it's July, I'm not even gonna dip a toe in there because it is 8, 10 in the morning. I do, I'm do. i doing this really early for two reasons. One, I don't wanna interrupt other guests, but two, I, it's hot, right? Like I don't wanna be outside even if it is in a pool, but you've got a real small hot tub area, which at the right time of year would be a delightful thing to do. Because this pool is less crowded, particularly early in the morning, you can swim laps if that's what you want to do. You're also obviously welcome to just sit and relax. One of the things which the Four Seasons does well, which the Mandalay Bay Pool doesn't do, is a lot of their lounge chairs have umbrellas over them, which helps you avoid some of the baking sun. And I think that would make my pool day a whole, whole lot better. You have some more cabanas to the back there. So again, what this pool area would be good for is if you're wanting a nice, quiet, relaxing sort of pool day, which isn't the vibe at the Mandalay Bay. You're obviously welcome to go back and forth if that's what you want to do. Let's go up here. There's another small seating area, which would be a great, great place to just sit and relax with friends. And I'm going to leave the pool area now and walk out the opposite way to show you one last way that you can get in here. This is the outdoor seating area for the Veranda Cafe. That's where I have breakfast, although I have breakfast inside because again, July, Vegas, that's what seemed like a better idea. So it's, it's a beautiful spot, y'all. Um, with this outdoor seating area, depending on the time of year and your comfort zone, you could also make it a lovely pool cafe. I hope this video has been helpful to you. What we try really hard to do here at Dine Drink Vegas is bring you short and focused videos to give you the information you need to plan your next trip to Vegas. Ooh, fire pit area. If we've done that, I really do hope you will support the channel. Please click like and subscribe. Ask us your questions in the comment section down below. Thanks so much and happy travels.